My name is Chaba Sirgali, I'm from safety department. It's not easy to build safe cars today, but it doesn't really matter if we are talking about big SUVs or small cars just like the new Škoda Fabia. The main purpose for both is and always will be the same, protect humans. The most effective way how to do that is of course prevent accidents. But what if a crash can't be prevented? For this case we must provide for our cars the best protection for adult and child occupants and at the same time minimize the harm they do to pedestrians, cyclists or motorcyclists. Simply said, we at Škoda work day and night on a perfect car structure, rigid enough to save the life of all the passengers in the car and soft enough to protect the other road users around the car. Of course, it's very important to leave enough space for creativity, functionality and simply clever ideas. And, at last, but definitely not at least, to respect the sporty and emotional design. Sounds maybe a little bit complicated, but it's called simple challenge for us. My name is Jan Domkas and I'm also from the safety department. We are going digital to be faster. We are using modern trends and newest technologies, but keeping also traditional, because physical testing is for us still necessary, even in modern times. Just imagine tens of thousands of simulations just to find the best technical solution. Hundreds of tests to be sure that it works also in the real life. Thousands of exploded airbags, belts and so on. For these activities, we are using a modern laboratory with the latest equipment and by using of different types of dummies and impactors like children, small women, tall men, leg form, head form and so on. After this testing, after fulfilling all internal targets and homologation targets, we can say that the new Škoda Fabia is from safety point of view robust and safe family car. My name is Pavel Kolajta and I am responsible for whole vehicle car test. Physical car testing plays in the development process an essential part, uh, despite the huge expansion of the simulations methods. We have to be sure that our cars fulfill requirements, not only homologation requirements, but also our demanding uh, standards. The tests take place on different locations. It depends on the type of the test. Some tests take place in laboratories, some in special technic facilities, and of course, mainly outside. Unfortunately, I can't tell you the exact location, but for example, the winter tests take place far beyond the Arctic Circle, where there is a lot of snow, ice, and frosty weather. On the other side, the summer tests take place in desert, in very dusty conditions, in temperatures over 45 degrees Celsius and bright sun. For some tests, we use also the special testing devices, such as a towing dyno. We use it to simulate driving uphill. In trailer are recorded various uh, driving profiles so we can simulate, for example, the real Gross Glockner Mountains in the proving ground near to Mladá Bolesla. Number of testing cars depends on the projects. In case of project Škoda Fabia, we have over 150 cars for the development tests and another approximately 50 cars for quality assurance tests. Because of COVID situation, the last year was special. As I mentioned before, our tests take place abroad and the last year was traveling very complicated. We had to improvise a lot. Some tests we made an alternative location and some remotely in collaboration with our external partner. This situation was new for us, but finally we did it. And at the end, I can say that the testing program for new Fabia was successfully completed.
My name is Stanislav Sloup. I am from Technical Development from the Department of Connected Car. I started to work at Škoda Auto back in 2007. At that time, connectivity was all about Bluetooth. You could connect your mobile phone and use hands-free or stream music. Later on, we launched SmartLink to show mobile phone on infotainment. In 2016, uh, we brought a second generation of mobile online services into Škoda Fabia. That was a big step for us to be online. Technology and development approach have significantly changed. In the new Škoda Fabia, we are coming with the third generation of mobile online services with larger portfolio. Technology and development approach have significantly changed. In the new Škoda Fabia, we are coming with the third generation of mobile online services with larger portfolio. We significantly reduce response time due to one digital platform infrastructure and MQTT protocol. Fast changes, shortening time of development and high complexity of the system was a challenge. We switched to an agile way of development to run development in sprints. There were set up and to end teams responsible for the functions. The teams were supported to cooperate more efficiently and effectively. We put big effort into testing, which is done partly by automation that helps us to run the test 24-7. We are as well working on ideas how to involve artificial intelligence in testing. It is a great experience for us how to move forward. For me, working on connectivity projects has been always challenging and exciting at the same time. My name is Vid Bacek. I work for the Department of Aerodynamics. New Škoda Fabia has uh, excellent aerodynamics, uh, even the best drag coefficient in its class, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, it is necessary to realize that uh, aerodynamics uh, is not some isolated uh, thing. Uh, it's uh, the interplay of uh, shapes and proportions of uh, all the parts of the car. Uh, everything must be coordinated together. Such great aerodynamic shape of the new Škoda Fabia uh, was uh, achieved uh, only thanks to uh, the cooperation of all colleagues uh, participating on this project. Designers, engineers uh, responsible for construction of uh, car body, underbody, engine bay, engine cooling, uh, air conditioning, aeroacoustics, etc. The focus of uh, our work lies in virtual methods. We use computational fluid dynamics or CFD. Basically, uh, we perform virtual tests of cars in virtual wind tunnel using uh, computer simulations. This approach has uh, many advantages. The physical measurement uh, in the wind tunnel by default, assess 
how much the aerodynamic parameters have changed, but uh, the virtual simulation says also why. Uh, the virtual simulation provides insight into the flow field around the car. This insight, the ability to understand the physics uh, of the flow, this is what allows us to design smart measures uh, effectively. Of course, physical measurements are also used mainly to verify our simulations or to confirm our predictions. Such numerical simulations are computationally very demanding. Uh, for this reason, the calculation runs on supercomputer, which is specially designed for this purpose. A typical simulation uh, runs in parallel on hundreds of computing cores, and yet it takes a few hours to get it done. More than 3,000 uh, simulations was done for the new Škoda Fabia, and each take about 7,000 of uh, core hours. I know it's uh, hard to imagine. Uh, let's say one ordinary office PC would struggle with uh, so many calculations more than 2,000 years. The development of aerodynamics has made uh, great progress in recent years. Uh, and due to the pressure to reduce emissions, uh, the importance has increased significantly. 20 years ago, uh, there were only three people uh, responsible for the complete development uh, of the aerodynamics in Škoda Auto. We have now worked three on the development of aerodynamics of the new Škoda Fabia, but we also had huge support of our colleagues who develop numerical methodologies and uh, other team of colleagues who ensure preparation of uh, measurements. And of course, we uh, have used a lot of knowledge and inspiration from colleagues in the department who develop other projects. Uh, my thanks to all of them. The development of aerodynamics is a bit unique and uh, very diverse. Almost all car parts uh, have an effect on aerodynamics. Uh, flows around the car interact and uh, details uh, cannot be uh, optimized uh, regardless of the whole car. Real example, the side mirror had to be developed together with the edge on the tail light because the wake behind the mirror significantly affected the aerodynamic function of this separation edge. Let me introduce uh, the main aerodynamic features we have uh, paid the most attention to. Air curtain, aerodynamic feature which uh, streamlines the airflow around the front bumper, integration of cooling air shutter in the engine bay. Uh, this is the first time uh, active aerodynamic measure uh, has been used uh, in Škoda Azero class car. Windscreen tilted as far as possible, uh, rounded a pillar. Side mirrors uh, optimized to deliver good aerodynamics as well as aeroacoustics. Smooth covered underbody, narrowing back ended up with roof spoiler and side finlets. Roof spoiler with side finlets reduce vortex formation and drag. By the way, uh, I own Fabia. Uh, I will definitely buy the new one. Uh, so, uh, actually, I was developing it uh, for myself. Reducing the drag, fuel consumption and uh, CO2 emissions uh, of your future car is a quite good job. 